Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin. It's Sunday. That means it's time for another Sunday Top 5. Uh, got my names out of my hat. Uh, one name every week, and I give my top five movies of their career. Um, well, my top five favorite movies of their career. Not necessarily their best performances. Uh, last week I picked Jack Nicholson, and I got a little... I got a little criticism um, because I actually I love The Witches of Eastwick. I think that's one of my favorite Jack Nicholson movies. I'm not saying they're, it's a better performance than As Good As It Gets or Terms of Endearment, you know, movie Easy Ride or movies that got him nominated or won him an Oscar. I'm just saying I like the movie, you know. I thought all three of them worked really well, uh, all four of them, Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, Cher and Susan Sarandon worked really well with Jack Nicholson. So I got my names. One name every week. We also use this hat for our 12 Degrees of Kevin Bacon. I got my names. Got my one for the week. Jamie Foxx. That one's going to be fun. Uh, this one's going to probably be all over the place. Um, he's been in some incredible stuff. He's a hilarious actor. He's done... So much fun stuff. Jamie Foxx, Sunday Top 5. This one's going to be fun. I tell you what, Jamie Foxx, this one was tough. This man has had such an incredible uh, last two decades of his career. Um, you know, to really get your big break on the sketch comedy show in Living Color, you know, to to go from there to being a Grammy winner, an Oscar winner, this man's had an incredible career. And what's crazy is, you know, he wasn't taken seriously for a long time. A lot of those actors on In Living Color weren't taken seriously. Jim Carrey, you know, wasn't taken seriously until really about a decade later with The Truman Show, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, um, Man on the Moon. That's when he showed he can act. And Jamie Foxx, it's, you know, between 1999 and 2005... He just was churning out quality performance after quality performance. And that's just kept going since then. And he's diverse. He'll do action. He'll do drama. He'll do comedy. Uh, you know, he's such a diverse actor. So coming up with my top five favorite movies of his career was hard. Um, there's a lot of honorable mentions that will be listed, but... Right off the bat, we have to start with the 2001 um, biography, Ali, um, as, you know, one of his big breakout roles, um, you know, opposite of Will Smith. It's such an incredible performance. Um, number two, Any Given Sunday, 1999. Uh, I love this movie. I love his character. It's uh, Steeman, Willie Beeman, um, great cast, James Woods, uh, Al Pacino, Cameron Diaz. Then you have all these legendary football players, um, you know, Lawrence Taylor's in it. Um, I can't even think of them off the top of my head. Fantastic performance. Uh, very underrated movie, in my opinion. One of the best football movies ever made even though there aren't many of them made it's i would call it one of the best sports movies ever made um number three django unchained 2012 it's quentin tarantino it's one of my favorite movies of the last decade um tarantino is such an amazing director his performance is fantastic. Leonardo DiCaprio was fantastic. Christoph Waltz won Best uh, best Supporting Actor at the Oscars for this movie. Um, Kerry Washington's in it. it. Like, this is an... It, it's such a fantastic movie. And his performance as Django is incredible. 
Um, number four, uh, Collateral from 2004. Starring opposite of Tom Cruise, you know, and basically Tom Cruise is the villain. Um, it's, it's such, it's a great cat and mouse story. It's simple, but it's effective. And number five, in the same year, uh, he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for Collateral. The same year, he was nominated for and won for Best Actor for Ray. Um, as Ray, playing Ray Charles. It's one of the greatest performances ever given by an actor. Period. Plain and simple. End of story. Um, so that's the, that's my top five favorite Jamie Foxx movies. 2001 Ali, uh, 1999's Any Given Sunday, 2012's Django Unchained, uh, 2004's Collateral, and 2004's Ray. Um, honorable mentions, there's a lot of them. Uh, Baby Driver, underrated, um action movie uh horrible bosses where he plays motherfucker jones hilarious uh law-abiding a citizen uh playing opposite of uh gerard butler who was coming off his biggest performance with 300 uh and plays the complete opposite character he plays the villain whereas jamie fox is a is a well to uh well to doer uh booty call underrated comedy he's hilarious in it um miami vice um him and um it directed by michael mann uh stalin uh, him and colin farrell awesome together uh dream girls uh jarhead these are all just some of the best movies of his career he he's had such a diverse career such he's such an amazing actor um so that's my top five for this week. Jamie Foxx. You have Ali, Any Given Sunday, Django Unchained, Collateral, and Ray. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, what movies you think should be in the top five. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Uh, and if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time at the movies. Take care.